Hi everyone, I'm Tia from Tiny Box and today we're going to be doing a gift box hamper tutorial um, with some of our printed gift boxes. So if you want to know how we did it, just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with one of our uh, large square white um, luxury boxes. This one has actually been printed, so this is for a fashion and accessory company. Um, it's been printed in a black gloss foil. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just going through some of the little bits and bobs that I've chosen for the hamper. Um, so it's a, this could be used for a subscription hamper, um, this could be a launch, this could be for an event, um, on a shop shelf, anything you like really. Right, so we're going to start with taking some of our white tissue paper and all I've done here is um, folded it to fit the inside of the box. So, just press it in like that and fold it over the edge. Why we do that is because it lines the box and when you've finished you can fold it over and it holds in all the contents. And it looks lovely. Okay, so I'm going to start with, um, I've scratched up a bit more paper here um, and I'm just going to pop that at the top here, like that. Now why I've done that is because when your customer opens a box, you want everything facing them to almost stand up towards them. Um, then what you can do is literally just fold the edges of tissue paper over like that and then this is where you can put either a little welcome note or a, um, a business card or something about your company um, and box so I've got a little little bit of paper here, just saying that they hope you enjoy it and then what you can do is you can also sprinkle um, confetti or you can use flowers or anything that you like just as a entrance to the package before they open it so can we just pop the lid on what we're going to do now is um, just wrap it up so I've got this cellophane here um, and I believe you can get um, recycled and eco cellophane. So what I'm going to do, I got everything out except for the scissors, didn't I? Right. So what I'm going to do is take my box. Now you can kind of experiment with how much cellophane that you want um, because you might want to double wrap it. So you might want to do a really little layer that bunches about here um, and then you might want to do a bigger one that bunches further up so you're having lots and lots of layers it's quite extravagant um, but I'm just going to go with a single layer so I'm just going to position it in the middle just cut it down there we go. okay now now it's a bit of a tricky bit when you've only got one person and only one pair of hands. But I've got our silver grow grain ribbon that I'm going to use to tie it with. And all I'm going to do is bunch up each corner. You can do this quite messily actually because I think that's the whole point of it. So I'm just going to take every corner and all the bits of the roof out as well. Don't worry if some of the corners like this are a bit too short because you can just tuck them in and take them afterwards. So, just try and tightly bunch it. Look like that, really. So, once you've done that and you're sort of happy with your gather, 
what you're going to want to do is take your ribbon and tie, try to tie. Okay, so I've tied mine up. All I'm going to do is wrap it round again. Tie. And then I'm going to knot it. There we go. Right. Now, don't worry too much about this bit. I'm going to get some tape. This is when you can't find the end of the tape. You should always do that thing where they tell you to fold it over at the end. Nobody ever does, I'm sure. Right. So, I've got some tape. I'm just going to tuck. I'm going to tuck this little bit in. Right. Now, I'm just going to tie it down. Tie it down. like to pull all the cellophane bunch to the top out so it looks a bit more dramatic I guess. Just like that. Now you've got your ribbon, you're just going to want to tie your bow. You can use whatever size ribbon you want. So, there you go. Right, so now uh, I had a little play with these tissue paper flowers and I thought they looked really lovely as a little bit of decoration. Um, so, I'm going to use this great one in my box back, and all I'm going to do is in the middle of my bow flower on, try not to squash it, and then I'm just going to wrap the white around and squeeze it together, and have a look all the way around, there we go, so you've got a pretty ribbon and flower decorated box hamper, and it's so good because um, it doesn't matter whether you use recycled cellophane or normal cellophane, they'll keep all the water out. So if you do have any food or anything in there, I suggest maybe using an elastic band first to secure the cellophane to make sure it's really tight. Um, and, and then ribbon on top of that um, to stop the food getting damp or anything like that. These boxes are also really great for things like scarves, um, blankets, baby clothing, anything like that. Um, and you can decorate it any way you like. Okay, so that's all from me today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and it can be useful to you. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see me do. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!